Hey there! In this tutorial, we are going to be looking at how to set up a self-signed SSL certificate on localhost using XAMPP, Apache and OpenSSL. Because we are going to use a self-signed certificate, it is not recommended to use it in a production environment, meaning on a live website. It is meant to be used only in your local development environment. To install the SSL certificate, we will use a custom domain set up through virtual host. So if you don't have it set it up, make sure to go through this tutorial first. You can find a video on this channel in the XAMPP playlist and on NeutronDev.com. You'll find a link to the video and article in the description. Alright, let's get started. Let's start XAMPP, turn on Apache, and in my case also MySQL. Next to Apache, we can now see two ports, 80 and 443. Port 80 is used for HTTP by default, while port 443 is used for HTTPS. If I go to my website now, localveron.com, you can see that the website is being accessed through HTTP, which means it's using port 80 and the connection is not secured. It's good to keep in mind that port 80 is used to access an unsecured website, while port 443 is used for secure connections. We'll use this information a bit later in a tutorial when we configure Apache. For now, let's move on to creating the SSL certificate. We will now create a self-signed certificate using OpenSSL. This certificate should only be used on your local machine. Luckily, XAMPP comes with a patch script which simplifies this process. Go to your XAMPP folder, then Apache, and open the makecert.bat file with a code editor. The script says the validity period of the certificate to 365 days. You can modify this value as you wish. Let's say to 1825 days, which means roughly 5 years. And now the more interesting part. Because this script is quite old, it lacks some configurations. To resolve this, we need to pass a new argument called dash ext file to this command. And its value is a file called v3 dot ext. So we don't have this file yet, so let's go ahead and create it. And the file should have the following configurations. Replace localvarian.com with your own domain. Remember that you can copy all the configurations from the links in the description. All right, now is the time to run the makecert.bat file. Double click on makecert.bat file. And here we have a wizard. Let's make this a bit bigger. All right, so now we should enter a PEM passphrase. Uh, I would go with neutron in my case. country name, we can leave this blank, but uh, for the sake of this example, I will add uh, real information. And here you should stop for a while, because this is basically asking the actual name of the website, which in my case is localveron.com. So this is very important. If the domain doesn't match what you are adding here, then your certificate will not work. So localveron.com in my case, press enter. Uh, 
a challenge password. Yeah, I'm gonna go with admin. All right, so the certificate has been generated. Press enter. Let's refresh this folder and you can find the certificate in the conf folder in ssl.crt folder. So double click this file to install it. Click install certificate. Choose local machine. And here choose place all certificates in the following store. Then click browse and select trusted root certification authorities. Then click OK, next, finish, and the import was successful. Now that we installed a certificate, let's tell Apache how to use it. Open the XAMPP Apache conf folder and go to httpd.conf file and open it up. All right, so then search for load module SSL module and here we have this line and you must make sure that it is uncommented commented lines have this hashtag in front of them so in this case it is uncommented all right we're gonna have to search for another line which is include conf extra um, HTTP D SSL dot com. Yeah, all right, this one. So make sure this line is also uncommented. Now let's go ahead and open the Apache conf extra folder and search for HTTP D dash vhost.conf file and open this file as well. If you recall what I mentioned at the beginning of the video about ports 80 and 443. Here I have a virtual host for HTTP that uses port 80. Let's create another virtual host that uses port 443 as well. The server name should be localvarian.com server alias as well <clears throat> in my case the document root is gxamp hd docs varian public and we have to turn on the ssl engine we have to specify the ssl certificate file which in my case is stored in conf ssl.crt slash server.crt and ssl certificate key file is in conf ssl.key <clears throat> slash server dot key all right save the file and we have to restart apache all right it's up and running we have no errors so far and let's check our website localvaron.com right our connection went through https let's click this lock icon our connection is secured and we can here see the certificate we have generated earlier bear in mind that sometimes browsers may show that the connection is not secure and that the certificate is not valid 
The browser, however, acknowledges the certificate and it should be okay since it's a self-signed certificate and it's not recognized by any authorities. One last thing, if I access the site through HTTP instead of HTTPS, it takes me to the unsecured version. It would be good to redirect me to the HTTP version instead. So let's address this. In the httpd-vhost.conf file, we must add some rules to the virtual host settings for port 80. So we are going to have rewrite engine on. And here we're going to have some conditions. Rewrite um, cond server name. And we're going to check for local parent.com or rewrite cond server name check for local com without www and rewrite rule https server name Alright, I hope I get this right. Let's restart Apache. And let's access the HTTP version and see if it redirects us to the HTTPS. And it does. Alright, that was it. I hope this tutorial helped you set up a self-signed certificate for your local project. If you enjoyed this video, go check out my XAMPP playlist for more tutorials. Wishing you a wonderful day and I look forward to catching you in the next one.